Watch this video before you do a lash lift. I so wish I had this video before I did mine, but uh, you do, so continue watching and uh, get those fabulous lashes. Hey babies, welcome to Kimberly Worldwide. It's me, Kim, your host for this video. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a video called My First Lash Lift. And I showed you guys how I did a lash lift on myself. And that video created so many questions on my blog, on my social media, on the video itself. So rather than answering them, all, which was like crazy. I decided to make this quick little video here where I'm gonna attempt to answer any questions and give a lot of tips on the lash lift process. So watch this video before you do yours, because if you're planning a lash lift, you're gonna wanna know this information because when I did my lash lift, I only wish I had this video. It would have been so helpful. We're gonna get right into it. My name is Kim, if you're new to my channel, Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos on beauty, fashion, and fitness, and I would love to have you join my fam. We are gonna get straight into it, so here we go. The first question I'm gonna be answering, what do you do before the lash lift? because this is just as important as what you do during and after in order to guarantee a successful lash lift, okay? You wanna make sure that you are not allergic to any of the products you're gonna be putting on your skin. It's like when you dye your hair, they do a patch test to make sure you can tolerate the chemicals. You wanna do the same thing when you do this, and this is your eyes you're messing with, so you wanna make sure. I used the Lux Lash Lift set, and this set comes with two lotions. It's the Perm Lotion and the Fix Lotion. They come in little packages like this. And what you're gonna do, you're just gonna open each package, and you're gonna take like half of a pea size and put it on the inside of your forearm. Okay, like right here. Put a half a pea size on there of each lotion. Cover it up with maybe a Band-Aid for 15 minutes. Leave it on there, then remove it, wash it off, and wait 24 to 48 hours to make sure there's not a reaction. Because if you have a reaction, then maybe you're using the wrong kit or this kit's not meant for you. You wanna make sure that you can tolerate lotions and that there is no reaction. Do not test it anywhere near your neck or anywhere near your face. Test it on your arm. Because if you have a reaction and it's anywhere near your neck and stuff starts swelling, it is all bad. That is essential. Do not skip this step. That was the first thing. So the second step you want to make sure you do is to clean your lashes. You want your lashes to be in their most natural state. I recommend not applying any mascara or curling your lashes about 24 hours beforehand. And before you do the whole lash lift, clean your lashes. Use a gentle cleanser, an oil free cleanser on your lashes. Make sure they're clean. You don't want any product, any oil, or anything on your lashes that's gonna interfere with the lotions you're gonna be putting on there during the lash lift. Also remove your contacts. If you're wearing contact lenses, remove them. You just want your lashes to be in their natural state. And mine, that would mean they're pointing downward, they're straight, and they're not doing anything fancy. The next thing I wanna stress is about time. You wanna make sure you do the lash lift when you have sufficient time. You don't wanna be rushed. Take your time doing all the steps. Stick to the time requirement that you're supposed to keep lotions on. Do not go over time because you can end up with over-processed lashes. Stick to the instructions. Okay, you want to make sure you lay everything out on the table so you don't end up having to look for stuff while your lashes are processing. This is one of the most vital tips that I can give you because I'm always rushing doing everything. But for this one, I had to take my time. Next, avoid applying too much of the adhesive to the lash pad. If you saw the video, you'll see that part of the lash lifting step is sticking the lashes to the lash pad. 
and you use the adhesive for that. Now you do not want to use too much adhesive because if you do, it's going to interfere with the absorption of the lotions, the perm lotion and the fix lotion that you're going to be putting on there and you don't want that. So try to use minimal amounts of adhesive to stick your lashes to the lash pad. Which brings me to another thing, the lash pad. Since the video that I posted, I've done the process like a couple of times and I find that cutting the lash pad shorter, like here you can see one that I cut, it's actually very short. It used to be longer on each end. I actually cut the lash pad because it is much easier to put it on your lashes and to get it to stick. So you just use the adhesive on the back of the lash pad, you stick it on there and you hold it. Make sure you hold it till it really sticks because if this doesn't stick, you might as well stop because your whole lash lift is going to crap. That was it about the adhesive. The next thing is, should you keep your eyes open or closed? I got that question a lot too because I kept having my eye open but there were two things. I was filming so I had to make sure everything was running besides doing the lash lift. I didn't see an obstacle with having my lashes, my eyes open. If someone else is doing it on you, you can certainly close your eye. I just thought it was easier to have my eye open but you can certainly do it with, you know, like that but I just didn't see the need for that. You can certainly keep one eye closed or have someone else do it on you. That's an option if you really want to keep your eye closed. The process speaks for itself. It's really easy. Make sure you have Q-tips on hand. Q-tips are your best friend, more so than the application sticks, like these little sticks that come in the set. I did not use these that much, so uh, Q-tips are your best friend. When you do the process, you want to make sure to remove the lotions thoroughly. Like when you first apply the perm lotion, after it's done processing, you have to remove it. Take some extra time to really remove it because if you leave some perm lotion on there, it's going to continue to process your lashes and it's going to be over processed. Okay. After the lash lift, these are essential things you need to remember. You cannot be in contact with any moisture, steam, water, or anything like that. Sweat, the gym, stuff like that. You want to avoid that for 24 hours after your lash lift. So, you know, just relax, take it easy. When you take a shower, do not Put your whole head underneath the shower. Just wash around your lashes. Do not get them wet because it can interfere with the lash lift. Now, after 24 hours, you can do everything as normal. Apply, you know, whatever makeup you want, even though it's not necessary to apply any mascara because the lash lift already looks fabulous. But you can go about your business as normal, I'd say after 24 hours. Before that time, do not wet them or anything. In the kit, there is a nourishing lotion. I'm all out of the nourishing lotion. It's all gone because I apply this like it's going out of style. So every morning when you wake up, you want to brush your lashes. And I like to apply some nourishing lotion to them. But because I'm out, I just apply castor oil to my lashes. Which doesn't seem to damage the lash lift at all. Uh, as long as you wait about 24, 48 hours after the lash lift to apply it. Yeah, I think it's fabulous. I love it. So before you go to bed, brush your lashes, go to bed. Speaking of bed, you want to try, and this is really hard for me, you want to try to sleep on your back. Because if you sleep on your side, your pillow is going to crease up those lashes and they're going to get all funky and everything and you're going to wake up with lashes that are all over the place. Now having said that, I am a side sleeper and I've had to battle that for quite a while where the lashes are all frayed and crazy. Once you brush them and stuff, it's back to normal again. I don't really think that was much of an issue for me, but yeah, maybe your lashes are different. So that's something to watch out for. Now for the biggest thing. How long does the lash lift last? The lash lift can last up to eight weeks, I'd say six to eight weeks. But what nobody tells you is that the further it goes, the further time goes, like in like week four, your lashes start looking a little 
all over the place. And this could be because I'm an amateur and I, this is the first time I did my lash lift, you know, and I didn't do it all the way correct. So there's some issue there, maybe, you never know. But I found that my lashes were a little, one was pointing this way, one was pointing that way. It wasn't as clean of a lash lift anymore, you know, and it became really difficult to like manage my lashes and make them look somewhat decent. So that happened about, I'd say in like week four, four and then I was like okay I need to redo this lash lift so I just redid the lash lift and now I'm at almost at the end again and they're starting to look like all frayed again which is fine you know because they go back to their normal state anyways but I don't want you guys to be thinking oh they're gonna look fabulous for weeks on end no your lashes will let you know when they're ready for another lift I don't want you guys to think this is like, oh, wow, my lashes are going to be beautiful forever. No, they are going to go back to their sad, sorry selves, unfortunately. But then you can repeat the lash lift again. And in this kit that I got, there's like five different times you can use the products in there. So that's awesome. There was a question here asking what did I thought of the Lux Cosmetics Lash Kit? kit i gotta say being a newbie at the lash lifting process they spell it out really really well there's a video you can watch there's like a little booklet with instructions all the packagings are marked so you know exactly what's what so i don't have anything to compare it to but from all the instructions that they gave there's so much information that you almost cannot go wrong with it so this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I just thought it was a good kit to use. And yeah, I was happy with the instructions, everything in pictures and words and video. No complaints there whatsoever. So yeah. Another question someone had, can they apply a lash tint during the lash lifting process? You can certainly do that. You want to do that before the final step, before the nourishing lotion. So if you want to tint your lashes in there, you can do that. Do it before the last step, before the nourishing lotion, after the perm lotion. Having said that, speaking of tints, I purchased the Lux Tint Set, which is uh, brow and lash tinting set. I'm going to film a video on that shortly to show you guys how I am going to tint my own brows. Now I normally get it done professionally, but of course I will try it myself. So stick around for that. Let's see what other questions did you guys have? Let me just check. Okay, so the next question was, will the lash lift make my eyes look bigger? I don't know about making your eyes look bigger, but it absolutely makes you look more awake and it gives you that wide open look, you know, wide eyes open look. So it absolutely makes your eyes pop more than when they're pointing down, not doing anything. So yeah. I'd say yes. I had a lot of questions about people describing their lashes and asking if they would be a good candidate for a lash lift. Now, like I said, I'm not a professional or anything. I just know my lashes and my lashes are bad. They point straight down. They don't hold a curl for the life of me. Well, you guys saw in that video, it's just not, they're not cute. The lash lift was a solution for me. Now, if you naturally already have really curly, gorgeous lashes, there is no need for you to get a lash lift. But if you're like me and your lashes are stubborn, they point down, they, you're constantly messing with a curler or trying anything to make them hold a curl, this lash lift is awesome. If you mess up the lash lift, okay, so say you try it at home and you mess up, you can always do it again. Now, this is on a personal note because everyone's hair is different, everyone's lashes are different. My lashes are pretty resilient, so I'm able to pretty much do it right away again if I mess up something. If your lashes are more sensitive than that, you might not wanna do that. You might wanna wait maybe a week or so and then try to fix the mistake, but don't over process your lashes because they'll get all brittly and we don't want that. Will my lashes go back to normal after a lash lift? Absolutely, hair always grows back and so do your lashes. If your lashes end up like 
all brittly, you've overprocessed them, do not worry, they will come back to the way they were before. Even if they feel kind of crispy and kind of like brittly, they will restore themselves back to the way they were before. It just takes a little bit of time. In like four, five weeks or so, you'll see them coming back to the way they were, unfortunately in my case. How long does the whole lash lifting process take? Well, it really depends on yourself. It depends on how fast you apply all the lotions and everything. But like I said, make sure you take your time, especially if you're new to this. You don't want to rush through the whole process, okay? It can definitely be done fast if you are used to doing it. But if you're not, and if you're new to it, take your time. But don't let the lotion stay on your lashes longer than they should. I think that answers all the questions that I can think of. But yeah, if you like this video, if you think it's useful, give this video a thumbs up. I'm sure you're going to have more questions, so make sure you put them below in the comments. And uh, I will see you guys again next week with another video. I will be trying the Lux Tint Set, which is basically a tint for your eyebrows and your lashes. I'm not sure if I'm going to do my lashes, but I'm definitely doing my brows. So if you want to see that, make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. I'll see you guys next week in another video.